I found another request that how you can make a gun buy system like Valorant okay so let me show you if you didn't know about Valorant Valorant is a multiplayer game a uh, warrior it's kind of like similar like CS whole game okay where you can buy weapon you can fight with enemies okay uh, kind of like there's a spike rush it is it is but the main thing is on this video that we are going to create the similar kind of like gun system that where we can buy weapon and we can use that weapon okay so let me show you so first thing I'm using Unreal Engine 5.0.2 so make sure you update your engine version okay fine now will be I already created a folder and there I already add some source code or source image that is sorry not that's not source code that is image basically so I get that and I already modify them okay now I have this uh, two rifle different type of rifle icons now first thing for buy uh, making the buy UI or whatever it is we need a widget basically so just create a widget that widget class and give it name that UI of uh, I'm not sure what they can give name uh, uh, gun buy system gun buy okay UI gun buy okay now once we have this we need to add a canvas panel okay so just like that a canvas panel okay now we have a canvas panel now we need basically a button that where we can press that basically so let's just give it the uh, size that how much we want uh, I'm not sure that how much we can give 450 by 4 oh, what, 450 by 200 I guess that is enough good okay great now we need to just select the anchor point to zero or whatever you want to give like that you can give multiple okay now in the style we need to just simply change that so on just go to style and search brush and then just uh, drag and drop the image of the weapon okay but which one you have great once we have that we can easily identify that how much size we should give this weapon kind of like as i'm seeing right now at here uh we can probably give 300 uh, that is enough for this one okay fine we have this one now we can do the similar thing with multiple like we can i make i can make here the multiple gun so just simply i'm just doing for two buttons you can do how much weapon you have okay i'm just showing for two weapon system then you can add multiple by just doing the same process okay fine we have the two buttons uh which we can press now also for display or how much money we have will be use a tax for display that how much money we have okay now make sure that is in a variable now uh, compile and save okay fine we have this two thing we have basically our text where we will display so the first thing is if you check valorant that is valorant is a one-time uh, buying system they give you one time like for one match you will be only can buy one gun and with that gun you need to play and after that it will be reset okay it's mean that it will be not uh, available for whole life okay so we'll be do the same thing but if you want the safe system that so you can do probably so first thing uh in our graph we need to create a variable that's variable contains how much money we have so let's give it name money and then we'll be give it a variable to type life integer now once the game will be start we can give some money to players so they can buy the gun and if like five uh six thousand okay six thousand usd let's give it uh, damn usd to buy the weapon and you can see that we can't write usd because there's an issue is basically this is an integer okay so it's been that this is an integer we can only input a number so for uh you know for display with this tags we need to use a uh, comp uh, a basically format okay so just get your tags and from text will be uh, set text and once we begin do like that let's add a sequence and make sure i'm using some shortcut of getting this uh, blueprint code there's a lots of shortcut available you can check so once i add the shortcut uh, the sequence then now we can add the text but for here i'll be using format this format will be allow us to make something great so uh, just use second bracket and let's give it name that v to value inputs and then like that and then i can write that name okay so the first thing will be contain basically the number of how much money we have and the second will contain basically the text okay so for that will be set uh, txt set text i guess is a, yeah set text by name and then 
will be see me uh, right here that usd or you can write also something else also if you want so i'm just adding some space compile and save now it will be show very goodly that's great now we have how much money we uh, we can give it some player uh, money so they can buy okay fine now we have money so now we need to create the buy system so once our weapon should uh pressed okay so there will the button will be executed that so this button will be we have gun okay have gun question mark so we'll be select this uh, the type of the variable is boolean that are we have any type of gun or not the first thing it will be verify so i'm adding connecting with branch i'm also using shortcut right now okay once we have if we have the gun so it not should be do but if you don't have the gun so the first thing it will be get the money and then it will be verify that are we have enough money to buy that weapon or not so now we can give that weapon price so weapon price 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 a okay so i'm just give it name for the price a that is uh, price number one or price number two you can give so in price number a i will be verify that if we have more than 300 uh, 3500 usd so then we can buy that gun okay so adding a one more branch and once we have that enough money so it will be basically from money it will be minus that is subtract uh, that how much value we want to we for this weapon price okay from the price it will be minus then it will be set that money and connected with this thing and then will we give that yeah we have right now a gun so it not should be uh, again pick and type of gun okay that is totally uh, great compile and save now if I check uh, you uh, if you check as you can see that is pretty much an upgrade everything we have now a gun so depends on that it will be show okay and also will be do that once we have or basically get our gun well it should be removed that parent so remove uh, from parent so the ui should be automatically removed from our class so we don't need to see any more uh, ui okay so that is for, by this thing you can do for similar gun kind of like if you want to buy a second gun you can do just like that and just make the same okay just copy paste you don't need to do anything more just simply duplicate and copy paste and for this one you need to just simply what you need to do just change this uh, weapon price okay so just simply duplicate that one more time and let's give it name uh, B so for buying this gun we should uh, let's give it a price value that we it's we need basically probably 500 and 5000 oh sorry let's give it 5000 money uh, usd to buy this weapon and compile and save okay by this thing you can add multiple gun right now if you have multiple guns okay once we have that now okay fine we have gun right now so let's now connect it this ui with our character or even class so i'm just adding in my open level class so simply connect it that begin play that it should be create a widget uh sorry create i'm so sorry i'm so sorry create -E create widget and then we'll be simply connected our weapon and then we'll be add viewport and here we'll be add one more thing that get player controller get player controller that i and p you can input because once our ui is enabled we don't need our player should be press anything so we we'll disable his input so the target is basically our character so we need one more thing that uh get all actor from class get all actor from class and then we'll be get our third person or whatever our character name is so in my case that is bp third person so third person character and get a copy and will be said that so player ref and connected with this thing and then will be connected like this and once this work it should be create that and once the input disable it should be um, enable the mouse cursor so show mouse cursor show mouse set show mouse cursor and connected with this thing and connected like this 
okay we'll be do the same process for our ui so just copy this whole code just copy and just go to in this class and on even construct uh, what shall we do basically connected with this thing and once we have that from the disable we'll be basically connected this thing to input i and put input that is basically enable input because now player can basically uh give her input and whatever it is okay whatever you want to type or you know basically he can now do whatever he wants and in that case the mouse cursor should be go and the targeted actor is basically our character compile and save that is great now we have all the system now let me show you so if i click on press as you can see uh, i can't move if i press wsd whatever i declare is disable i have 6000 usd now i can buy this gun so yep it should be buy and okay it's not working let me check oh what is the issue basically some of cases equals price value 5000 sorry i'm not sure what happened Chronicles falls, yes, we have falls gun. Let's connect this to this. Let me check now. Are it working or not? Yep, we have we buy our gun. Now we can basically do whatever we can. Okay, so that's all guys. I hope you understand how you need to create a system like Valorant. Okay, thank you so much for watching us in next as possible. So thank you so much for watching us. Love you all. Bye bye. See you in next video.